If you've been video conferencing a lot more while you're at home, having a virtual background can make things a lot more fun. They're also a great way to hide a messy or distracting background. In this video, I'll be discussing how to use virtual backgrounds in Zoom, and I'll also be giving you guys a download link for a bunch of free virtual backgrounds. Now, the first thing you should know is not every computer is able to do virtual backgrounds. To make sure your Zoom client supports virtual backgrounds, be sure to update your Zoom to the latest software. You should then be able to go to your camera options while you're in a Zoom meeting, and there should be a button in there for virtual backgrounds. If you aren't seeing this option, it means your computer just isn't powerful enough to support this feature. Now, if you do see virtual backgrounds as an option and you press it, but don't see any pre-installed options, it means your computer can't support virtual backgrounds without a green screen. I'll leave a link down below to see what the computer requirements are for virtual backgrounds in Zoom, but where things get really fun are when you start adding in your own virtual backgrounds. To add your own virtual background, just press the plus button and you can choose an image or a video. You can go through your finder at this point and just choose any picture or video you want to use as your background. I have some fun background images that keep things pretty entertaining, but I also have some fun videos that are really nice to look at too. Again, if you really like the videos and images I'm using in my backgrounds, you can actually download them in the description below. Now, Zoom custom virtual backgrounds are really fun, but another app that makes things even more fun is something called Snap Camera. Snap Camera is an app that lets you bring Snapchat filters into your Zoom calls. Once you install the app and open it, you have a bunch of options and categories to choose from. To get these to show up in Zoom, you have to close and quit Zoom completely and reopen it after you install Snap Camera. After you relaunch Zoom in the same place you saw the virtual background option, you'll see a new option for Snap Camera. And once you choose that, you can go back into the Snap Camera app and adjust things in real time. So you can change your filter and some filters have multiple variations you can choose from. And as you make those changes in the Snap Camera app, it'll make those changes in real time within the Zoom video call. Now, once you're done using these Snapchat filters, you can always go back to your normal camera view by choosing your regular webcam in the camera options again. I'm not too sure how often people will be using Snapchat filters in their work meetings, but if you want a conversation starter, this is definitely a way to do it. If you're getting stuck or have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And again, in the description below, I also have a link to download all the virtual backgrounds I showed you in this video. Thanks so much for watching. I post videos every week, so be sure to press the subscribe button down below, and I'll see you guys next time.